Okay, we've got the basic, we've got the reservoir tank, we've got the, uh, the, the hose running down to the pump right here. And what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna, we're gonna put just a little bit of oil in here, just, just a little bit of oil, so that oil will trickle down in this hose. And as it trickles down in that hose, that'll let the air inside this pump to escape out so it primes itself. If you were to just dump two quarts of fresh oil in here right now, what you may get is there's so much head pressure there that the air inside the pump here may not be able to escape out as easy. So then you'd have to prime the pump. So priming the pump would involve once it's hooked up to the tractor, once it's hooked up to the system, we would loosen one of these uh, check valves right here and we would wait until some oil ran out of this check valve and normally that that air would bubble out of there you'd see that air come out and then we would tighten that back in and then when we went to cycle the pump chances are that's going to be primed so we're just going to try to eliminate that by doing it correctly so we're just going to take the reservoir cap off here and we're just going to pour just a little bit of lightweight oil in here This is just standard 30 weight oil, just a really light oil. So you can see I just put just a little bit of oil and you can see it running down in this hose. And I can see some of the air bubbles that, that left that hose there. So we're just gonna leave that little bit of oil in there and we're gonna wait till we uh, finish the installation before we do anything else.